Hi and welcome to our last bulletin for 2017. I'm Danielle Campbell and Gerald Kelly. This week we have a quick look at some of the team who work very hard to make an episode each week. See what our Klontoff and Girls Academy have been up to in Sydney and hear from our principal. We have watched your TV grow this year and became more professional. We are very excited to see where we go next year. Let's have a quick look back at this team. Hi, I'm Joella Holmes. Hi, I'm Aaron Palmer. Hi, I'm Morgan Cockiel. Hi, I'm Alia Herbert. Hi, I'm Denise Riley. And I'm Miss Charmaine. Yeah, I'm Carmen from Flippin' Fun, and I work with my partner Adrian, and we teach gymnastics. Hi, I'm Joella Holmes. Hi, I'm Gerald Kelly. And I'm Rakisha Coughlin. And, and we're, we're bringing you this week's episode of URTV. TV. Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of URTV. I'm Misha Wollgrang. Hey! <laughs> Greetings from Germany and welcome to Gym 4. Where the girls had a ball jumping on the trampolines and playing dodgeball. Today we had a very fun day with 10 clicks for the Amazon Cup. Like that walk away victorious this year. Uh, Thomas, what's happening on the day? Yep, so the day's going to be really exciting. We've got a few activities happening. We're going to win today! Crowd favourite, especially as the losing team are pulled into the pool. Three, two, one, go! Congratulations to Jigby for taking out the 2017 Swimming Carnival. Compared to this one, watch. The class is run by Mr. Carres. There's nothing stopping you. The only person that's really stopping you is that person you're looking through, looking back at you in the mirror. I know what I was talking about, getting my mouth, my mouth around some of them words. Also in media, our Yurara radio show is getting a lot of publicity. Our presenters were recently interviewed about being youth on air. Confirmation is standing up in front of people at church. The chapel was packed with family and friends to witness our confirmies, receive the certificate and be blessed in God's family. The Little Lees enjoyed getting their faces painted and our guys gave us a good laugh at attempting the bucking bull. <laughs> we played two games and we won both of them. We got um, now we're playing St. Phillips and we got two more games then. Hopefully we win, yeah. You're gonna smash them? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hi, I'm Amelia Gardilla. Uh, we at the Centralian Middle School. Arriving at the air wing hangar in the morning, we met our police pilot Reese and Senior Sergeant Michael Potts. How long have you been in the role and what are the highlights? Okay, I've been in the role now for just over four years. What does a Aboriginal liaison officer do? Go to school for kids. Hi, my name's Gibson Turner and I'm an Arunda man from Santa Teresa. Making a stand for White Ribbon Day, you're a middle school student march against domestic violence. Every year 11 times more Aboriginal women are killed by domestic violence than are not Indigenous women. That was season by Omi featuring Shaggy. Ezra, what's been happening around Yara campus lately? One, two, three. <laughs> Boarding the bus and ready to go. The seniors were buzzing. Our four Both our Klondorf and Girls Academies have taken some students to Sydney this week as acknowledgement for good attendance, strong engagement and great attitude. These students have a chance to join in with educational, cultural and fun activities. Let's have a look. On Monday we did and to visit Barker and see what they do during the day. Um, in the morning we did um, a bit of visit, uh, like a bit of walk around of the school tour. Then block two we did uh, rockets, so we um, 
go to light the rockets up and it went you know, Surfing has been a highlight so far. I reckon all the fellas have, have lots of fun so far. Alright, we still got the blue mountains to go. Hello everyone, you're with Christella and Shawan. I'm interviewing Shawan on the trip to Sydney. So, Shawan, what do you like about your trip so far? Um, I like the Luna Park and Powerhouse and boat cruise and also enjoyed the Nike because we had 40% off discount. Morgan, can you tell us um, what did you like about Sydney? When we catch the ferry from the Circular Quay to Luna Park. Did you like Luna Park? Yes. What was your favourite at Luna Park? I'm um, going on the right. <laughs> on Tuesday, we went to Curry Radio and a lady, Lola, she did a film with us and did a radio show with her that morning. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Last Saturday, your students play at the Tanganjia Women's Family Safety Group fundraiser in town. With generous support from local artists and businesses, the funds will go towards members travelling to Canberra to ask the Australian Government to invest in Aboriginal community-led solutions for a future free from family and domestic violence. As our school year draws to a close, we invite our principal, Roger Ashcroft, to say a few words. This is our last Urara TV for 2017, but a reflection on the fantastic year we've had at Urara with the many activities we've introduced and the new programs. We sent two staff members over to America to learn how to uh, manufacture electric guitar guitars. So this is something which is really good and really helping our STEM program, which is uh, a new thing we're starting at Urara College. We've also got the simulator program, which is fantastic because we're teaching people um, skills on how to operate excavators and earth moving machinery, both male and female, which would be great. You know, if we can get these ladies operating mining trucks, there's a massive amount of work for, for ladies, indigenous ladies, to operate mining trucks, which is a great thing. In the mid-year, myself and the deputy principal and our families went up to the top end to several communities and dropped off school reports, which was fantastic. I saw a lot of you out there um, in places like Borroloola and um, areas around there. Unfortunately, we couldn't find Robinson River, but that, we won't talk about that. But we had a great time and it was good seeing people in their own environments, in Elliot as well and other places, um, and seeing how they live and, and what they do and giving reports to families and talking about students and, and the amazing things that they're doing at Urara. We've really had a good year and I'm not just saying that, this has been a really exceptional year as far as students' behaviour, students' dedication to their work. We've had four students, which has never happened before, four students who have graduated from year 12, which is a fantastic thing to be happening at Urara and it's really good because the younger students see the older students doing so well that they too are starting to see that there's, there's, it's good to get a good education and Urara is a good place to get an education. So we're enjoying it. It's so much easier to work with students who want to get an education. Um, of course they're teenagers and they're going to give us a few issues here and there, but on the whole, they're great kids, every one of them. And, uh, and we wish them all the best and I wish you all the best and have a fantastic Christmas and New Year. And we ask the richest blessings for your families um, in this time and um, we continue to pray for all of you. Thank you. We thank you for joining us as we shared our many stories throughout the year and look forward to seeing you on our first bulletin on the 2nd of February 2018. Take care and remember, keep, keep safe, safe these holidays. holidays. See you. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>